everyone welcome back to my channel in today's vlog i'll be sharing with you all some exciting and intriguing content from our first weekend on our brand new boat so this was honestly the ultimate way i couldn't have asked for a better opening weekend if you watch my previous video you know that friday the day we bought the boat was tumultuous saturday was a bit rough on the water but sunday was absolute perfection i not only caught my personal best but the biggest most gigantic fish we have ever witnessed or experienced so if you want to see my trophy catchings please stay tuned and keep on watching Diving bird. Look how beautiful that is. They are in the family of the crane. Beautiful bird. All right, so first up is Moore's Riverboat. You guys, this is an iconic restaurant that burnt down in this very small town back in July of 2022. Use the lines, which means heating it up, and then you go. And go and, no, you don't. Dip it in the water, because man, man, I did that one. I don't know what I was thinking. I oh, no. That's there. the worst. Mm -hmm. Okay, over the top. In the loop. So when One more time. It, when you pull it here, see how you pull it? It starts tightening up. Then when you want to undo it, boom. This is that personalized yeah. tutorial. Yeah. There you go. All right. And then to pop it, you just boop. Pop it right back out. All right. Do it again. <laughs> Try to keep your hands out of the way. Uh, Try to do it slow. <laughs> <laughs> and that ain't gonna go anywhere. Perfect. Awesome. All right, so as I stated earlier, we surprised Pop on this day on the water. It was amazing, you guys. It brought so much joy to see how happy and free he was to be back on the Delta. We were all just elated and in good spirits. Our morning started out super early. Um, we had a nice time on the water, catching up, chit-chatting, and after several hours, we had a lunch at the point in Rio Vista, which was delicious. Shout out to Pops for allowing me to use his pole. I used his pole to catch those amazing, beautiful fish. Where do you keep your fish? Nice. There you go. You got this, baby. Let's wash ashore, Pop. He's going fast. Oh, that's a big fish. Oh my God. Holy shit. <laughs> oh, no. Keep an eye on him, Pop. He's I am. Me. I got it. He's I got you. Me. You can take care of her. I will. Me. Hey, nice and smooth, baby. Have fun. Nice Have and smooth. Fun. Just keep that rod tip up. That's all you got to do. If he's taking line, don't reel. Okay. Got it. Beautiful. That's my girl right there. <laughs> oh my god, my arm is. <laughs> That's a nice striper, Dad. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> How big is this one? It's a good one. Oh we don't have to measure it, I'll tell you that. Stay focused. You can ain't on the boat yet, baby. Okay, start reeling on them. Come on. I'm trying. Once we get into this big channel, just the anchor button, Dad. I will. I, I'm going to, baby. Wait till we clear. Okay, hit the anchor button, Pop. It'll do its own. Want to come record this and I'll help her? Controlling motor will keep us where we need to be. Yeah, I don't want it. Here, oh, here, no, here, 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 right here. I got it, here. Oh, here. Oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> hey, camera. Oh, my God. oh, I'm sorry, I got excited. Oh, my God, oh, my God. 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 Wow, I cannot Holy believe shit. Come here, baby. I got <laughs> I Way to go. It's almost as big as you. 
Look at you. Oh, see, what did I say at that point? Awesome. You let her go now, or yep. you? Yes. Yes. Let her go, yes. Pop. Holy over the shit. Oh my god. How big do you think that is? I'd say 30. <gasps> Quick disclaimer, you guys, I lost some very special footage while trying to upload some photos onto my external hard drive. The clips would have been inserted here. Eric did end up having to jump into the Delta up under the three mile slough bridge, 30 plus feet deep water to save this fish. She fought to the death. We tried to revive her by flipping her over several times. Um, that did not work. So Eric jumped in and spent about 15 minutes swimming against the current to save this fish's life. So we made sure that she was alive before we took off. So that previous catch was on Sunday, September 11th. That was off of Decker Island. And believe it or not, it was during slack tide, which typically no movement in the water, you're hardly catching fish. But somehow, some way that day, I was against the odds and I caught a big in. Now, this day here that we're actually looking at now is Thursday, September 15th, so four days later. And just in case anyone is wondering, we do drift using live bait, which is the type of fishing that we do. Most people typically use an anchor. Yeah. We drift with the current using the trolling motor and we use live bait. So in the words of Captain Mike, if you're not bouncing, you're not fishing. This is the secret to catching breakfast using live bait, bluegill. And then the next fish, the large trophy fish, was um, four days later on Thursday, right off of Decker Island again. <laughs> what is this? Are you recording? Yep. <laughs> Take your time, baby. It's a good one. Oh, oh <laughs> Leo, you gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> Oh, fuck, not again. <laughs> oh, I think that one's bigger than the one you had last time. Again, Holy again. cow. <laughs> Take your time. Hey, keep the line tight, babe. Okay. Pay attention. That's a big fish. I know. Holy fuck. Oh, my God. You gotta be kidding me. Come on, focus. <laughs> Holy cow. <laughs> Oh my god! Holy dude, cow! Head. We don't need a net. Just be calm. <laughs> be calm. <laughs> be calm. Oh my god! Oh my Are you god. Me? Two? <laughs> <laughs> wow! Are you kidding me? Did I just catch this? This is probably <laughs> 35, 36 pounds. Oh, this, this is bigger than the last one. Look at where the hook's sitting. Uh, right in the corner of his mouth. Oh my god, you guys. Holy sh. This is what you have to do. Get the gills working again. 
just throw this big fish back into the water. Get the oxygen back in the gills. As soon as they're ready, they'll take off. Look at that. There we go. There we go. Yeah, baby. There we go. So if you were unable to tell, we did not keep either of those gigantic fish for several reasons. Um, after doing research, I did find out that that fish was approximately 15 years old and more than likely 80 to 90 percent chance she was a female. So that means that she was a breeder at some point and plus those fish are way too large to keep. We typically stick to the 21 to 23 inchers for food consumption. brings us to the end of this video thank you so much for tuning in and checking out the content i truly appreciate it if you are not subscribed to my channel please stop what you're doing hit that subscribe button i would truly appreciate you joining the family and as always i will see you all in my next video take care